guys, this is Eric from Easy Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at SH Figure's Death Trooper from Star Wars Rogue One. And I haven't watched the movie yet, but that's beside the point. Um, I usually don't get any Stormtrooper just because, you know, I'm not that big of a fan, but this one just looks so appealing to me. Well, technically, this is a Death Trooper, not Stormtrooper. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And I really love the packaging they're doing on all this, like... Look at this goal, like it looks really, really nice. But anyway, so let's bust this thing open and see what we here we have the figure still in there in the packaging and it's pretty straightforward. So let's just take a look at the figure itself. All right, so here we have the figure itself. And I think this is going to be a relatively quick review because there's really nothing to talk about. It just looks really good. I love the skull and just take a closer look at the head skull. I love the green they're using over here as well. On oh, the black is always really nice and it just looks really good all around. Hmm. But yeah, um, let's jump straight into the articulation and see what we got. All right, so for the articulation, um, based on what I have seen, he's using all the latest technology from SH Figure Arts, and that's partly the reason why I got it. Um, he can look up and down no problem, he can turn his head no problem, and the shoulder is on a um, really long ball joint. And you can actually pull this out a little bit so it allows for you to do a little bit more bending over here, so that is really nice. Mine's kind of stiff, but flimsy at the same time, so you gotta be really careful. Um, and he does have a bicep swivel, and he has a forearm swivel, so that's really nice. And you do have um, the ball wrist over here, so that's pretty cool. And um, the ab crunch is pretty good, consider he's got all that armor. He can bend backwards about that much, he can bend forward that much. And you do have the hip articulation as well. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And the best thing about this figure is probably the hip. He's using the 2.0 hip. Um, yeah, this is always very nice. He can do like a really decent um, kick, I believe, even though I don't think they fight like that. I haven't watched the movie yet, but wait. No, he's got too much armor over there. Anyways, I don't think he can kick that well, but eh. Uh, it's decent. It's good. And yeah, you have a swivel over here and you can bend around that much and you do have a side to side pivot and you have a toe hinge over here as well. And that's it for the articulation and let's check out the All accessories. Right, so for the accessories, he came with two pairs of hands. Um, one for you to hold the weapon and one for you to kind of support a weapon when you're using it. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. And let's check out what the weapon looks like. All right, so first off, we have the pistol over here. Um, it's nicely sculpted, and it does have a little gimmick over here. Um, you can pull this part off, and then you can swap it with this, and then you can just um, put it onto his holster. And yeah, that is really nice. Wait, let me just try to put this on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you just have to um, take this out, and then pack that in. It's all dark, so... I'm not sure you guys can see this, but yeah, it looks like that. It looks really, really good. I like it. And let's check out what it looks like when the gun is assembled. All right, so here I have him holding the pistol, and it looks really, really good. I like it. And he can kind of, like, use his hand to, like, you know, hold the pistol a little bit, you know, while he's shooting. So, like, gives a little bit of balance. Yeah. That's really Alright, nice. so lastly, he came with a rifle and is really nicely detailed as well. Um, you can actually see some silver over here at the tip, and that is really, really cool. And let's check out what it looks like. Alright, so here we have the figure holding the rifle, and it looks really, really nice. And I think that's it for the accessories. Um, the only gripe I could think of from the top of my head is that I think they should have included another pair of hands for you to hold the pistol, because the pistol is a lot more thick. Um, the handle is a lot more thick than a rifle, so you might stress your hand out like over time. So, I don't know. That's just something to be aware of. But I imagine Imagine people purchase multiple of these, so I don't think that's a big problem. But anyways, um, let's jump straight into the size comparison. All right, so for the size comparison, let us start with the Star Wars figures I have around. Um, he's actually pretty tall. Like the Death Trooper is actually as tall as Kylo Ren, so that's pretty cool. All right, so next up we have some SH Figures Naruto figures and Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Ghoul. All right, so next up we have some SH Figures Kamen Riders, and that looks really good. All right, so finally we have to next to some of my favorite Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Right, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is pretty good. And again, I'm not that big of a fan for Star Wars, but the figure's got beautiful paintwork, beautiful sculpt, and amazing articulation. Like, what's there not to like? It's a really good figure, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it if you're a big Star Wars fan. But again, this guy is around two to three times the price of your regular Black Series or domestic figures, so it's up for you to decide if it's worth it or not. It's a question about like you know quality versus quantity. Like with the same price, you can buy like three. Black Black Series Death Trooper. So, you know, it's up for you to decide, but I still prefer um, import figures. But yeah, do let me know in the comments what you guys think about the figure. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!